Ruby Rose. Where did you learn to do this? Signal Academy? Well, one teacher in particular. I see. And what is an adorable girl such as yourself doing at a school designed to train warriors? Well, I want to be a huntress. You want to slay monsters? Yeah. You want to come to my school? More than anything. Mm. Well, okay. You will find an abandoned temple at the end of the path containing several relics. Each pair must choose one and return to the top of the cliff. You will meet opposition along the way. Do not hesitate to destroy everything in your path or you will die. Well, that's great. Okay, first of all, what does many people have to do with fighting? And secondly, I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. What is going on guys, it is your boy Cash and put right now in the comment section, hashtag I drink milk. If you're just like Ruby, you don't, you, you grown, you know you grown and you can edit your comment later, don't worry, I, I won't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. But hopefully you guys enjoy the intro. I actually have been changing the intro and the outro about five times. It's actually been hours since I've been able to actually do the guide. I haven't been able to actually do the guide. <laughs> because it's actually taking me hours just to get it approved and make sure that it's not gonna get demonetized in any shape or form. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this guide and enjoy the intro, enjoy the outro. As you guys know, it's probably on the left side of the screen that there will be a reveal on what who the next character is going to be. And without further ado, get him a rinky dinky do. Let's talk about Ruby Rose. Now for starters, when she's four star, she has the actual hood, the actual proper hood ski daisies. And then boop, she takes off the hood and then normally, yeah, there's not much of a difference. Actually, you can see the difference is that the cape and then the, the little flowers start to come out from it. Like she's like teleporting. I, I gotta still figure out how her semblance works. I know she's just like fast. She's very fast, obviously. And that's actually gonna go into her whole little kit and stuff like that. No so true friendship increases wind and light allies, critical strike damage by 40%, kind of similar to Yang's when Yang has a attack up and she's gonna give you critical strike damage. Really sucks that that is not critical strike chance. And we'll go into why I think that in a second. Next up is going to be the Crescent Rose. Her first passive skill increases damage dealt by 30% upon landing a critical strike. Activates Resolve upon taking fatal damage. When Resolve is activated, restores the caster's HP by 50%, grants the caster Veal of Phantasm for two turns. If you guys don't know what Veal of Phantasm is, it gives them a free evade. This is really good, obviously, if you can get enough crit, and we're gonna go over the rune section. When we go over the rune section, it's gonna be very, very, very important for you guys. Please pay attention to that section because it is going to be super important on how you're gonna get the most out of this character because crit is very difficult to build, just a heads up. Next up is gonna be her unsurpassed agility as a high chance to cause the caster's turn to come more quickly at the start of the wave. Increases critical strike damage by 170% of critical strike chance. Again, you should be critting. That's pretty much what it's telling you there. Increases your critical strike damage by a certain amount of your critical strike chance. So even if you don't have like 100% critical strike chance, your critical strike damage is gonna be increased. So you still wanna get it up there 
and you're gonna get some decent damage out of it so you don't have to worry too much but it's still it's still gonna be hard you're gonna see what i'm talking about i'm gonna explain it later so first let's go with here the crescent slash inflicts penetration damage equal to a cone pretty much a cone attack if you level it up to level three it will actually gain poison when you critical strike so pretty good it's a cone attack that is very strong if you build with some type of multi strike in mind then you'll have this high chance to poison she only has attacking moves so you will always have a chance to multi strike when you actually get a turn i don't know if i would necessarily put it on her because you're going to need critical strike a lot as you can see boom critical strike there then you go to the s2 the deadly reap level one inflicts damage equal to 200 percent single target s2 nuke pretty much 100 percent chance to grant disable resolve for two turns upon landing a critical strike once again critical striking is important if you use the cast a skill three cooldown by one turn if the attack kills the target now as you go up here you can see it's three turns when you get level three and then finally three turn decrease on your skill three if you kill the target with this move and then finally it actually gains ignore defense as well i actually was leveling up this first but i'm not exactly sure if you should her thing is kind of weird because it's more about her stats than what you're actually leveling up then you go to this s3 the rose eclipse and flicks penetration damage really important lovely to get around these shields and damage immunities it's a single target S3 nuke, 60% chance to make the target unavailable to revive. Cut them up, baby. Cut them up. Now, you can see nothing crazy here happens and, you know, nothing really particular except that this goes down to five turns. Then if you happen to have this maxed out too, which is nuts, then, you know, you'd bring it down to three and it'd probably be right back up, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Very rare that you're going to have that. You'd have to be summoning like a madman to have her with those two skills fully maxed out. So what I would suggest to do, you're probably going to want to level these two up. And this one, I kind of really like it because it is a strong S2 nuke. It gains ignore defense. Her S3 does not have ignore defense on it. So I kind of like the level. I'm going to be leveling up my S2 as much as I can. I like to disable resolve i like to that it reduces the cooldown of my s3 so i can s3 for something see if i can get the kill if not then i s2 and then it lowers the cooldown of my s3 I, I, that's kind of how i like the rotation of her skills that's just me but this is still pretty low to rely on the unable to revive but since it's 100 percent if you crit on the s2 disable to disable resolve i do like that to focus more on that i like the guaranteed stuff not that i hope stuff if that makes any sense and because of her 60 hero passive you have to be thinking like you're very likely to go first regardless of your moves so it even helps her pretty much stack on damage so you can nuke a target so what are you going to nuke them for to make them unable to revive or are you trying to nuke them so they're unable to resolve you kind of have to make that choice next up we're going to go through the beautiful ruby rose's base stats now as you can see here her base stats are going to be the same of every ssr attacker so all of the the, the crew of the collab crew are pretty much going to have the same base attacks which is really they're all going to have the same base stats outside of the attack speed of course it's just kind of funny to note that so everything being the same as you can see on the left side but obviously the difference is going to be the attack speed ruby actually has an attack speed of 579 really good makes her decently quick but she also has a passive that makes her quick to makes her give her that first turn but it's pretty much for the cycling of the other turns as you know as she gets into that order that she's gonna attack quick also it's still pretty good if you still want to go with some type of speed on her if your passive does not proc you still want to go first it's a way of kind of making both happen now I quickly want to go into runes I'm not going to focus too much on her base stats out of any guy that I've done I think I haven't emphasized substats as much as I should and I do apologize on that but I hope that you guys can learn it here today on how important it is to have substats now we know for a fact that she's gonna do more damage on a critical strike she's even gonna do even more damage on a critical strike so building crit on this character is a huge deal the issue that you're gonna run into though is that the crit strike chance set is only five percent so think of how crazy that is if you're gonna want to get up to the 90 percentile of crit to make sure that she's gonna crit she's gonna go first with her 60 passive you want her to crit you can see here it kind of varies this is a plus 15 so they're about four you can probably get it up to five 4.47 4.5 is like the highest one that i got so let's just say pretty much 4.5 right if these were all rolled in as high as they could i don't know what the highest is but this is about four so i can even go four eight twelve so i'm getting 12 percent crit chance from this one rune then i have this one 
where as you can see this one is rolling pretty low and this one is rolled decent and this one is obviously not crit chance so with five crit chance substats and including 10 from two crit chance sets i'm still at 36 crit and that is excluding hero talents so even with with five substats of crit chance i still am not even at half that means pretty much when we do go to hero talents, obviously you're probably gonna have to also get this, which is another 15. So you can effectively say that I'm at 51 crit chance at the moment. And that is still just half, and that's still not good enough. So what I'm gonna be suggesting to you guys is either you're gonna have to go all crit chance <laughs> to get like a very high crit so she has a good chance to crit, because unfortunately her kit has absolutely nothing to help you with critting it doesn't which kind of sucks Leafa, on the other hand she has the rage mechanic right when there's three or less characters up she gains attack and she gains 30 percent crit chance and she's also very crit reliant if you guys know how Leafa works her she pretty much guarantees multi-strike when she gets a crit which is really good and you know allows her to pretty much do that and then she also has a quick strike damage buff in her kit ruby on the other hand doesn't actually have anything that's going to give you a crit strike chance so it's really difficult even her leader skill doesn't give her any crit strike chances so it's really reliant on your stats your runes so you're gonna need as you can see five is not even good enough so what i would want is you know 70 80 which even if you were to get another one <laughs> so let's say if the if the dream was real the dream is real right so we got 12 here this was 12 so that's 24 and then we put another 12 here right 24 that's 36 and then everything here is crit so it's a plus 15 that makes 51 and then we would also go into the hero talents and we would take the plants attack and we would still be at 60 something <laughs> like it's kind of crazy that you really can't get that high of crit chance and that's where she's gonna falter. So it's good. she's kind of she's kind of luck very luck reliant because you're gonna hope that that like 50 esque chance kind of does that. Or you can pair her with characters that give strike preparation. Or you can have her fight against. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, that when you are opposite elements, so if she's fighting water, she'll have a higher chance to crit. Like they usually give them a bonus of some sort. So I have to mention that because I just want you guys to know that that's kind of how she works. She's meant to crit. She has nothing that helps her crit. But you need to build crit chance and that's pretty much your main focus that's why you, they give you this additional damage dealt and they also give you this to make sure that if as long as you are critting you're going to do good damage but it's still going to be hard for you to get that crit chance up so just a fyi next up we're going to have to go with the beautiful hero talents obviously we're going to go with the weapon mastery on the 50. 52 is always that lovely decision do you want to use her in arena do you want to use her in bosses 54, I'm gonna have to just go default with the fortified armor, give yourself a little bit more defense. She has absolutely no defensive mechanisms really at all outside of her resolve. This one is almost irrelevant because the way that she works, she's meant to go first and do a lot of damage. So I guess, again, depending on where she is, you want her to take less damage. Last but not least, I did say that you're probably gonna need to go with this because you need to get your, your crit chance as high as possible. This is very greedy, like super greedy to go. You're you're pretty much going to need to go this. If you want to have her work her kit, especially if you leveled up the S1 to level 3 and if you want your S2 to give you that all that free all that free bonus damage that you get from critting, you pretty much need to make sure that you crit. So you're going to have to go with the plan attack here. Level 60 is done. All right, guys. Hopefully I can show you guys some really cool stuff as far as I want to see if I could show you how much a crit does in comparison to a non crit that did 3400 so pretty you know nothing too crazy there so hopefully I can get a crit with the s1 and we'll see the damage difference all right so we saw with a little bit difference there so it jumped up way above double so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock her 60 pass so now we're gonna get to see the difference of the increases critical strike damage by 170% of critical strike chance let's see how that works out there we go let's also get this while we're at it game really did i mention i hate this and 10 percent it stays all right, so let's test it out now. So it was about 8,000. I think it was like 88,000 or something. 8,800, sorry. So let's see the difference here if we get a crit. So 12,000 now. 
from that. So that's a, obviously a really big jump. <laughs> That's a really big jump. So from 3,000, it almost got multiplied by pretty much four, if you know we're doing quick maths. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, like I said, she's going to do crazy damage. And as you can see, mine's not fully geared. I didn't have all the hero talents maxed out. And that's how much damage Baby Girl's already putting out. And you can see it's a cone attack on the S1. And then here, if it was the S2, we would know that it would disable the resolve. And then, of course, the S3 unable to revive if you need it. Let me show you guys really quickly the S2 of Justice. She slams it into the ground and then pops. We'll see it one more time, let's see it again. Like boom, bang, and then you see the cooldown reduction that gets triggered off of it. So yeah guys, that is Ruby. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide and I hope that you guys know and, and figure out how important crit chance is and Technically, by the way that her passive works, the more crit chance you have, the more damage you should be putting out. So I think that is very important and it's probably the whole entire guide pretty much. Build crit, get crit, and she will do wonders for you. The way that she gets her turn pretty much for free is phenomenal. It's gonna pretty much skyrocket, you know, you sniping a target out. Do you need to unable to revive or do you need to un unable to resolve? Whatever you want to do, that's all you got to worry about. And that is going to be the girl Ruby. Hope you guys tune in to see who's coming next at the end. I mean, you should. You already got to this point in the video, I guess, right? But remember, every day at the casino is your lucky day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. and dim-witted, and hyperactive, and don't even get me started on your fighting style. And I suppose I can be a bit difficult, but if we're going to do this, we're going to have to do this together. <laughs>